Okay, let's go. Let's see. Can I make this talk make some sense this evening? Because I'm fired up. And I look, I'm doing everything I can. And I know many of you are doing the same thing I'm doing. We're doing everything we can to get this message out to everybody about what's going on in the world of carrot bars and what's going on with carrot bank and our initial coin offering the token and of course the coin. And so I'm going to do my best to try to um, communicate this one more time. And it's based on uh, sort of what we talked about this morning on the power call, the creature and the blessing. Uh, I call this talk a seat at the table. And very suddenly I sort of outlined what I want to say and what I want to discuss. Uh, but I think it's important that we understand how unique of an opportunity we have for those of us who've been on the other side of the tracks all our life. You know what I mean by the other side of the tracks? Regardless of your ethnicity, if you grew up on the other side of the tracks, you know what I mean. If you grew up on the outside looking in, you know what I mean. If you haven't been invited to the table where you can participate in that great big opportunity, you know what I'm talking about when I say a seat at the table. Many of us go over our entire life saying, I just want a seat at the table. I want an opportunity. I don't want anybody to give me something. Just give me a fair sh shake. Just level the playing field for me. Give me an opportunity. Give me a chance. Well, Mr. Harold Seitz came along and has given us that chance has given people that chance, that person who says, I'm truly sick and tired. If I can find an opportunity to help me change my life, I'm going to work right now. I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to do it. Period. That's a seat at the table. That's the big boy table. That's the quiet where they sit in the quiet conference rooms and plan the takeover. Okay? The creature from Jekyll Island was a planned takeover by a handful of families that got together on Jekyll Allen and they got together back there in 1910, 1911 and said, man, we're going to take over. And they put it together. They get they secretly met. Okay, and you can go back and listen to the audio program where I go through all that and how the Federal Reserve was created. And if you haven't read the book by Mr. Griffin, go get the book. Okay, the creature from Jekyll Allen. He talked about the creatures, what? The Federal Reserve. Okay, but that's not what this talk is all about. This talk is about that's the past. That's here. That's been done. This is your opportunity. You have a seat at the table now. Most of us go through our entire life. I have one example saying, I just want a shot. I just want an even shot. I don't mind working 18 hours a day, 20 hours a day. Just reward me for the work. Just give me a level playing field. I don't want to be involved in the politics of it. I don't want you saying, well, we like you, or you went to the right school, or you got the right grades, or I like your cousin, or your uncle. Uh-uh. I want to be in a game where it says this is a level playing field. One reason athletes, many athletes who are admired so much, is because you can see what an athlete does on the field. It's not some behind the scene business deal that's taking place. You can see what they've done, what they've accomplished. Okay? If they ran the touchdown, you saw them run the touchdown. They scored 35 points. It's on video. You saw them score 35 points. Nobody gave it to them. Nobody hooked them up. Okay? And athletes, you see them perform. And their numbers validate their performance. Well, in business, there's always something going on. There's some deal that took place. It's about timing sometimes. It's about relationships. It's about family. It's about all these things. And many of us, we've been closed out of those deals. Right now, you can be you can be a, you can be the greatest selling author in the world, but if you can't get your book in the right agent's hand and the right publisher's hand, that book would never get published. Okay, because the playing field is not level. And so all our life, we're gonna look around and say, "Just give me a shot." That was I just want a shot. I just want a chance. Just level the playing for, field for me, and I go to work. Well, the playing field has been leveled, folks. You now have a seat at the table. We had a seat at the table before the cryptocurrency. Carabas gave us a seat at the table right there because it started teach teaching us some things about gold, money, and wealth that has never been taught through all the schools, all the elementary school, high school, college. Nobody's ever, all the education I have, I've never had one professor sit and talk to me about wealth. Or one professor say something as simple as Warren, get Warren Buffett's words that says, until you learn how to make money in your sleep, you're going to work until you die. That's a, that statement right there is worth a million dollars for those who are listening. 
Because until you start to think, well, how do I make money while I sleep? How do I make, how do I make money while I sleep? Okay? Because most of us never go through life thinking about that. They say, get education, do what? Go get a job. And a job is anything but a level playing field. Okay? Why do I say we got a level playing field? Let me touch on one more thing before I, so I, so I start talking about carrot bars. For 20 plus years, I've heard pastors all across America talk about uh, the wealth of the wicked has been laid up for the just. Okay, this is the year of Jubilee. A wealth transfer is about to take place, and it's going to be phenomenal. It's going to take the those who the, the last shall become first, and the first shall become last. And I've heard all that philosophy, okay, or spirit, or whatever you want to call it. I ain't going to get into that. That's not the point. Okay, because I believed it, number one. So is that that's not the point. It's not a point of belief or not belief. I'm telling you, I believe it 100%. I believe the wealth has been laid. I believe we're in the process of a year of Jubilee. And I believe the year of Jubilee was coming. I believe that 100%. But I've also believed that need a, they need to be a vehicle to facilitate that transfer of wealth. He wasn't going to have everybody in America, everybody in the world hit the lottery one time. He wasn't just going to give it to everybody. I mean, it had to be a process, a system in which that wealth can be transferred to what? Others. Because wealth is not destroyed. I mean, when the stock market crashed in 2000, the stock market crashed in 2008, the money just didn't evaporate into the ether. The money went into somebody else's hand. It went from this hand to this pocket. Okay? When millions of people lost their homes, the homes didn't get burnt down. Okay, the ownership went from these owners to this owner. Okay, when people lost millions of dollars in the stock market, it did money just didn't disappear. It went from those people with 401ks who lost 100, 200, 300,000, 400,000, a million dollars in their 401k. It went from their pockets to a bunch of head fund owners, a bunch of Wall Street bankers. It went into somebody else's pocket. That's a transfer of wealth. Okay? The year of Jubilee is here now, folks. Okay, because what Mr. Harold Sykes has put together for us, for people who see this thing, and I don't have any explanation why everybody don't see it. I, I, I just sometimes say, I thank God that I saw it. I thank God that I got a phone call four plus years ago and I accepted the challenge of Carrie Bars and said, you know what? I'm going to investigate this thing and get started. Because this right here will facilitate that wealth transfer. This will usher in a year or two or three of Jubilee where all of a sudden you see folks who never had money, who never had wealth, got more money and wealth than they ever imagined in their entire life. Because we now have a vehicle that can facilitate that and make that happen. And it is happening. It was happening before the cryptocurrency. It was happening just by the fact that people could accumulate gold. And now all of a sudden they were building an asset that didn't require a great credit score. That didn't require them to go to the bank. That didn't require them to borrow money from a small business administration. They just start saving gold in small increments like the wealthy save gold. And all of a sudden you're building your net worth. And many of us already in the first four years in this organization, some of us have been in carry bonds for six or seven years, have been building net worth for the last six, seven years, and now got more net worth, more gold than we ever thought possible. I talk to folks every single week who say they've saved more money now than they've ever saved their entire life just because they've been saving gold one gram at a time. I've talked to more people who said, look, I found myself in a cash crunch situation where I had to liquidate some of my gold. And sure enough, they found a place right there within 30 minutes of home where they could liquidate their gold, put cash in their hand, and go take care of some kind of emergency. Man, it's been an incredible four years. But it is nothing compared to what's going on right now. It is nothing compared to what's going on right now. Kudos to you. Hats off to those. Salute to those who have stayed the course, who stayed focused, who ran it, who trusted Mr. Harold Sykes and his vision for this company. Now let's talk about carry bars for a minute. What do we mean by a seat at the table? Do you understand right now, 99.9% of the population don't know what you know. For those of you who are in carry bars, for those of you on this call, think about now, we're doing this freedom call tonight. I'm talking about my personal organization has some 30,000 people. In it. We have probably 50,000 people that are plugged into wealth builders worldwide. Okay? And less than 1% of those are on this call. Think about that. Even when people are here, even when they, they have the knowledge right in their hands, is right in front of them, they still don't necessarily understand and know. 
let's talk about Carabas. So the first thing Carabas did says, look, we're, we're going to show you how to save gold. Well, many of you have been doing that for the last three years. Some of you just getting started. Save gold. Every chance you get, save gold. Why? Gold preserves your wealth. It protects your wealth. That's why you save gold. Okay? Everybody should be saving gold. Don't save paper. The day of saving paper and that's your future is over. I had a person just less than an hour ago say, how much money should I take out my 401k? I said it was me. I'd take it all out. But you might only want to take half of it out. Take some of it out. I said, it's up to you. But you know, if it's in your 401k, it's a financial disaster waiting to happen because the stock market crashes every 8 to 10 years and it wipes out anywhere from 30 to 50%, if not 80% of a people's, a person's 401k. It depends on how that money is invested. And it's invested in paper, so it depends on how they want to manipulate that paper. I get that money out of paper as fast as I possibly could, and I put that money in a hard asset like gold. That's me. Okay, I'm not a financial advisor. We got Mr. Allen Austin for that, but Mr. Allen Austin is on record. One of the top financial minds on the planet is on record saying gold has outperformed everything in the last 100 years. Put your money in gold. That's stuff we're teaching that all day long. So if nothing else, if you don't get anything else out of this seat at the table, you now got a seat at the table to do what? Acquire gold like the wealthy do. Alan also says, don't do what banks say, do what banks do. They may tell you to get paper. They may tell you to get IRAs. They may tell you to get 401k. They tell you all this stuff, get annuities, but they stockpile gold. Even the Federal Reserve, which is not federal, which is not a bank, stockpiles gold. Largest gold reserve, the country with the most gold right on the planet is still the United States of America. Got more gold than anybody else on the entire planet right now. Duplicate. Duplicate. Don't create. Duplicate. And then Carabas says, but we're going to put you in a position where if you join us on this journey, Mr. Harold Sight says, to teach other people the value of saving gold in one, two and a half and five gram increments and build your network, we're going to pay your residual uh, income for teaching people the importance of doing something they should be doing anyway, which is what? Saving gold. So we've been doing that. Then he said, well, you know what? Mm. I'm going to see can I help people around the world become like a Rothschild or DuPont or any of those names that happen to be at Jekyll Allen that put the Federal Reserve together. He said, let me put together this VIP package that gives them a piece of all the gold that moves worldwide in the world of carrot bars. And many of you several years ago took advantage of that and became VIPs. Okay. And, then me, and, and look, and so now you get a residual income twice a year based on being a VIP exclusive. And that was a, a, a $10,000 package. And some of you were not in a position to take advantage of that package. Okay? Or got in after that package. Then Mr. Harold Seitz, genius financial genius. I'm not saying that light. I mean that sincerely. Okay? This man is a, this man is financially creative on a whole nother level. I can't even get, I don't even try to get, I stay in my lane. When it comes to what he's doing. He says, well, you know what? We have to give everybody a chance to be a part of that crew that taps into all the gold that we're going to start moving all around the world. Do you understand there are actual countries that are considering Carabao's gold as their main currency? That's where we're going. He said, well, how can we tap everybody in that? Well, he created the premium package. And the premium pro package. I said, you've got to be kidding. So now, you get a $5,000 premium package or a $10,000 pro package. And now, you're thrown into a pool that also does what? Gives you a piece of gold that's moved all a percentage. Small percentage. So you don't need a lot. When you start talking about tapping into a global marketplace and you're getting a little tiny percentage, folks, it don't have to be a lot. And all of a sudden, and it's passive residual income, and you're sitting there and every month, you got this passive residual income because something you did a year ago, or two years ago, three years ago. And right now, it's not, it's not anything to write home about. But as the company grows, as we continue to expand worldwide, as more and more people start to understand the importance of care about us, as more and more people start to understand, we have the best gold money can buy, 24 karat, 999.9 karat gold, LBMA certified gold, period. And we are a rock-solid company with a seven-year track record of shipping out gold via FedEx, 
okay? Got a relationship with FedEx, got a relationship with MasterCard, got a relationship with the Vatican. People start to say, wait a minute, man, this is a credible organization. And as we grow, that monthly check from the being a part of that premium pool or a part of that premium, that pro pool gets bigger and bigger and bigger. That's a seat at the table. That's a seat at the table. You're here now. Most of the population is playing that don't even know carrier bars exist. You can stand on almost any corner in America. A hundred people walk by and you say carrier bars. Ever heard of it? They go, no. 99 of them say never heard of it. Maybe in Atlanta, maybe 90 of them say never heard of it. And you got 10 who say they have. But we still haven't done anything. Think about this. We'll call a Let's Go Weekend in Atlanta right now. And we have 1,500, 2,000 people show up from around the world. There's 6 million people in Atlanta. We're just getting started. Don't you even think we've been at this too long. We're just getting started. You have a seat at the table right now. And then, Mr. Harold Seitz, we were sitting there having breakfast, September last year. I'll never forget it because I, I think it was a pivotal moment. I didn't know it was a pivotal moment. Mr. Harold Seitz says to me, almost like in a whisper, he says, Tyrone, we're going to create billionaires. Now, I didn't know his vision. I didn't know what he had in mind. I just said, okay. Now, you understand, I'm happy. I'm so happy. I mean, I'm happy with the one gram, the three gram, the five gram. I'm happy with the cash go. I'm happy with the premium package. I'm happy with everything that's going on with the carrot bars. This is the most hassle-free networking concept I've ever That's why I don't like to call it network marketing. I call it networking. Because I don't feel like I'm marketing anything. All I'm doing is sharing information. I'm sharing information. I'm sharing information. And some see it and some don't. That's it. I'm not selling about anything. I'm not delivering gold to people. I'm not going to have to convince them of gold. I'm not doing a follow and say, how did that gold taste? How did that gold working out for you? Okay. I have had zero complaints about Carabao's gold in four years and three months. Nobody talks about the product. The product is great. So I'm not marking anything. I'm sharing information. And if they will look at this information, they get involved. It's just that simple. And when Mr. Harold says he's going to create billionaires, I was like, well, whatever you say, Mr. Seitz, you know, I'm a happy guy. I'm a free man in America. I've been free for 22 plus years. My family's free. We're having a good time. And I love what we do. I love everything about Carol's. We have our little leadership call. I'm, I feel like I'm, I'm sitting there sometime and saying, man, I don't have anything to complain about. Because if there's anything wrong with Carabas, Mr. Harold Seitz and Tom, and they fix it. Okay? I mean, they, they take care of it like now. So I haven't had an issue with Carabas in any way. That's me. Sometimes Dr. Patrice and, and myself and Lisa Gordon and uh, uh, um, Dr. Delco and, and Monisha, we're sitting there listening and we're going, we don't have anything to complain about. We don't have anything to say. Let's go. Let's get back to work. Let's go get these folks. Let's go turn some more people onto the world of Carabas. Let's go invite some more people to the table. Now, he said, we're going to create billionaires. I said, okay, whatever. If you say so, I, you know, I'm following your lead on this one, man. I believe you say so. Okay. Okay. And then in January, when our leadership council meetings, Heartbeat Club. He said, we're going to introduce this cryptocurrency. Now, understand something. He'd already set us up for it. I just wasn't paying attention. He put Bitcoin back in the back office. What? To help prepare us for the transition. Help prepare us sort of mentally for it. I mean, he knew what he was doing. Okay, I didn't know what he was doing, but he knew what he was doing. And then in January, he says, okay, now, here's your seat at the table. He didn't use those words. Those are my words. He said, we're going to introduce the Carrot Bank token February 1. The world can't even get the token. Okay, those here in the U.S. and Canada can't even get the token. We're going to gift the token. I said, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. So we're going to introduce this, this, this cryptocurrency. We're going to tap into this cryptocurrency enthusiasm, this momentum that cryptocurrency has all over the world. But we're coming in with the credibility of a company that has a seven-year track record, okay, that supply that ships gold all around the world. We're eventually going to be backing up much of this cryptocurrency with gold, okay, 
and initially people can't even in this country can't even buy the corn they must save gold and we're going to give them the corn for free i'm telling you some folks i lost my mind i haven't slept i mean i, I got my glasses on because i'm trying to hide my red eyes really truthfully because i haven't slept much since february 1. i sleep three four hours and i'm back up running around because this is that rare moment where you got a seat at the table. Okay? You're not hearing about the company. It's five years old. See, you weren't invited when Mark Zuckerberg started Facebook. Didn't know anything about it. I wasn't there when Bill Gates started Microsoft. I wasn't there when Steve Jobs started Apple. I wasn't there when all these other great institutions got started. Great business things got started. I wasn't there when Ford Motor Company got started. General Motors got started. My family was invited to sit at the table when General Motors got started. Wasn't invited when Ford Motor Company got started. When IBM got started. When Xerox got started. Okay, wasn't invited when NBC got started. When all these giant conglomerates or when Westinghouse got started. When Walmart got started. Didn't have a seat at the table. You have a seat at the table here right now with this initial corn offering. Everybody has a seat at the table and it can change your life just like that if you take action. So it says, look, when you go back there right now, you enroll for free. That's phenomenal itself. That's been the case for seven years. You can enroll for carry bars for free. Who wouldn't do that? Except a free gold savings account. Okay. No transaction fees, no money out of your pocket, okay? No monthly maintenance fees, no monthly fees whatsoever. A multi-million dollar software at your disposal, 25 days, 7 days a week for free. You can manage your entire business on your cell phone. And there are people that want to think about it because they have not been prepared to see opportunity when opportunity presents itself. That's not your problem. Your problem is to go share it. And then here comes Mr. Harold Sykes and saying, look, this is what we're going to do. I want everybody to be, have a seated table, but it's your choice. You can be a millionaire and carry bars by choice. I mean, you see, I don't, know, I don't know if you understand how powerful it is. You don't have to ask anybody. You don't have to check with your wife. You don't have to check with your husband. You don't have to check with your mama. You don't have to check with your broke friends. You can decide right now to be a millionaire and carry bars by choice. You don't even have to go build a big downline right now because of what Mr. Harold Sykes has put in place. You don't have to go build your team right now because of what he's put in place. You say, well, well register me. It's, you mean, you really, it's free for real. Free to register. And you can go in your back office and say, well, you know what? I'm going to get me one gram of cash gold. When you get one gram of cash gold, Mr. Harold Sites, Carol Bars and Ash said, okay, we're going to give you 200 tokens for free. And you say, well, that's not a lot. Okay, maybe, maybe it's not a lot of tokens for free. But now I want you to understand the cryptocurrency business. I don't. I'm just telling what I know, what I've experienced. Talking to crypto experts for the last month. You saw this one particular coin out there started at nine, ten cents a coin, went up to twenty thousand dollars a coin. Now I'm not saying that's what's gonna happen. This is all speculation. I'm not saying that's what's about to happen to Carabas International. I'm not saying we're going to twenty thousand dollars a coin, but we don't have to. You are here now. When it's at one, two cents, you're here now, and you've been given coin for free for doing something you should be doing anyway, which is what? Saving gold. Now you take that one gram of gold that you went into your back office, ordered two o'clock in the morning, one o'clock in the morning, six o'clock in the morning, whenever you felt like it, and it comes to here's 200 tokens for free. Then they come and say, wait a minute though, we're gonna allow you to take that one gram, okay? And also purchase some more tokens in April, 8,500. One gram, 8,500 tokens. Everybody, available at one gram when it gets an open exchange. One gram, 8,500 tokens. Folks, I hope you heard me when I said that out loud. Now you do the math. Take the calculator out and you figure out any math you want to figure out. But you can have just one gram. And that and just have one gram. You got yourself 200 tokens. If the tokens go to ten dollars, that's still two thousand dollars. You you spent seventy five bucks for a gram of gold, 
okay? And you made $2,000, you built a $2,000 asset. I won't say you made $2,000, you got a $2,000 asset just if the token goes to $10. No pie in the sky. That's a very conservative number. If it took a whole year to do it, you still turn 75 bucks into two grand. Where else can you do that? And if you say, well, I'm going to step out on faith, I'm going to go ahead and get these extra tokens with this one gram that's available. So now you're talking about $8,500. If it goes to a dollar, that's $8,500. You just turn $75 bucks in $8,500. If it goes to $10, you turn $75 bucks in $85,000. If it goes to $100, which I've had many experts, not me, speculate that it could within the next 12 months, that's eight hundred thousand dollars from seventy five bucks. Now I know, I know that's way out of somebody's ballpark and way out of your comfort zone. So keep it simple. But the point of the matter is, you now have this seat at the table. You can't sit back and say, "I've never had a shot. I've never had a chance." You got it. Some of you gonna take full advantage. Some of you gonna get as many tokens as you can. You go. By the way, you don't just get tokens now for. Uh, a save and go. You get tokens for enrolling new people, for getting new people, for helping them upgrade, for finding those blue dots and say, hey, you need to get you some tokens. You get tokens for literally everything you do in the world of Carabars right now. If you're not busy, if you're sleeping well at night, you haven't taken your calculator out. Because if you take that calculator out, I guarantee you, you will not sleep well. And that's the truth. Okay? Take a look at what if you go out and get 10 grams? I mean, you go ahead and spend about 800 bucks and get you 10 grams of cash gold, okay? Now you're sitting on about 85,000 potential, potential, potential tokens. So I'll go to $1. That's $85,000. You spend a grand for 85,000? See, look, I, we don't want to speculate all over the internet with this. So I can't go in too much detail on this stuff, especially on Facebook. Don't be reposting this and all this kind of stuff, folks. This is live. So I'm trying to tell you, there's so much. You have a seat at the table now, okay? And you can become a millionaire. If you do the math, you say, well, all I need is me 10,000 tokens. You get 10,000 tokens or 10,000 coins, multiply it times 100 bucks, you have a million-dollar asset, Okay? As Alan Austin said, it's not emotion now. It's just math. And you know who drives the value of the tokens in the marketplace? We do. We drive up the value of the tokens or the coin in the marketplace. And 10 million plus coins have already been acquired worldwide already in the first month. Okay. This is where we are. This is the table you're sitting at right now. I came dressed for the banquet tonight because I want you to feel free to send this out to everybody. I want you to share this information to everyone and let them know this is that seat at the table you've been looking for all your life. For those young folks in your 20s and 30s, you're in a position to put yourself, you're in a position to put yourself uh, in a place you never have to work again in your life, ever, ever within the next 12 to 24 months, ever think about anybody's job. For those who are 50, 55, 60, got the gray like I do, who made a few financial mistakes, who haven't quite saved you what you should save for retirement, Unipus right now to do more in the next 12 months financially to build your net worth than you've done in the last 30, 40 years. Okay? Only if you take action. It is said that knowledge is power. Well, not necessarily so. Three points and I'm done here. Applied knowledge is power. But not necessarily so. Knowledge applied correctly is power. And knowledge applied consistently is more power. You want to take this information and not hoard it for yourself. You want to share this information with everybody you possibly can, every friend you can, everybody that's 18 years or over and 98.6 and breathing. You want to share this information. You want to say, this is the hottest ticket in town. All roads lead to carry boss. I don't care how much money somebody might be making doing something else. There nothing can take the place of creating a passive income or building a passive asset to, that could make you a million in the next 12 to 24 months if not sooner. 
So I don't want to hype it up. Because I've had experts tell me in 90 days, this token could be at 100 bucks. Well, I'm going to say, what if it took a whole year? Okay? And you look up, and all of a sudden, you got 10,000 coins, and it goes to 100 bucks, and you, work for, you have a million-dollar asset. Most people have never seen that kind of money in life. You're in a position now, mathematically, to put that kind of asset in your household right now. And it's a willable part of your estate as well as your business is a willable part of your estate. This is that seat at the table you've been praying for. If you've been praying, saying, God, when is the year of Jubilee coming? If you've been praying, saying, when is the wealth transfer going to come? For those spiritual folks been saying, I know the wealth of the wicked has been laid up for the just. The wicked has had their day. It's time for me to have my day. Well, this is your day. And I don't mean to preach. Okay? But it's not about preaching. It's not about me being spiritual. As Alan Austin like to quote him off, it, this is just math. This is a straight up math and all the facts and stats says that we have the best chance as a cryptocurrency of doing something that's never been done in the cryptocurrency market. And then you put it alongside what we're doing from a networking standpoint, folks, we're going to create more millionaires in this next 12 to 24 months than anyone has ever seen. I firmly, I firmly believe that. And you can be a millionaire by choice. The choice is yours.